How to fill out FAFSA without social security number. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic for students in the United States, especially those who come from different parts of the world. We're talking about filling out the FAFSA without a social security number. Let's get started. FAFSA without SSN. So, why is having a social security number important for the FAFSA? Well, it's because the FAFSA and FSA IDs require it for processing. But don't worry. If you're not a U.S. citizen or don't have a social security number, there are still options available. Eligible non-citizens. First off, let's talk about eligible non-citizens. These include individuals like refugees, those granted asylum, and certain other designations. Even citizens of certain countries like the Federated States of Micronesia or the Republic of the Marshall Islands can apply for federal financial aid. Completing the FAFSA for Eligible Non-Citizens If you're an eligible non-citizen, you'll need to indicate your status on the FAFSA form. Make sure to select the appropriate option to ensure you're considered for federal aid. Parents without SSN but what if your parents don't have a social security number? Well, that doesn't necessarily impact your eligibility for financial aid. You'll just need to follow some specific steps, like entering IOS for their SSN and handling the signature process a bit differently. Lastly, it's important to remember that you can always reach out to your high school counselor or college's financial aid office for guidance. And if you or your parents face challenges with indicating your immigration status, you can preview the citizenship questions before submitting the FAFSA. And there you have it, folks. Filling out the FAFSA without a social security number is definitely possible. Just follow these steps and remember, education is within reach for everyone. Don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.